The water is just fine on this hot, sunny day, and you can explore Fort Loudon Lake in a kayak, canoe, or standing paddleboard. But these outdoor enthusiasts aren't just casually skimming around this waterway. They're part of a paddle sports leadership training academy, learning things like how to lead groups on the water, recover from being capsized, other rescue techniques, and paddling skills. For people who are, are new to paddle sports, the idea of falling out and getting back in can be kind of a daunting task. The Tennessee River Line, an initiative with UT Extension, hosted the Paddle Sports Leadership Academy and conducted the training. Lizzie Gardner says the focus here is on the River Line's community development and educational efforts and to promote the benefits of paddle sports. Paddle sports, but even more broadly, outdoor recreation has really become, um, I think it's opened a lot of people's eyes to how you can become more confident, more physically fit, more mentally fit. Um, and I think paddle sports really are starting to, to become more open from a beginner standpoint. This training includes mentorship, relationship building, and reaching out to people who perhaps never considered paddle sports, but might like to give it a try. Zenobia Stevens and her husband run an organization called Black Kids Adventures in Huntsville, Alabama. This academy seeks new passionate leaders and more participation from historically underrepresented groups. The Stevens believe it gives them more tools to have an impact with young people. Yeah, so we do, you know, paddling events and thanks to the Paddle Leadership Academy, we have actually been able to come here and develop skills, and, like leadership skills, technical skills that have allowed us to become an asset to our community. Um, skills that have allowed them to trust us when taking them out on the water and encourage them because they have leaders that look like them. The paddle sports trainees will take what they learned here and share with others when they return home. <laughs> Much like dipping your feet in water, it's an opportunity and an invitation to come enjoy the outdoors. This is Charles Denny reporting.